really shaping up to be four footprints that applications want to run on and IT has to worry about applications running on. The first being bare metal, the second being virtualization, traditional virtualization, the third being private cloud, and the fourth all the way out into the public cloud. So hybrid means the ability to, um, to be able to run applications across each of those footprints from an IT professional, and more importantly, be able to manage across each of those footprints as it's one, as it's one environment. That's the hybrid piece. The open piece is um, really, in order for it to work, it's all too big for one company to solve. So it's got to be open in terms of the source code is open so that you can have as rich a development environment as is possible because it, it's such, a, it's such a, a, a complex problem to solve. Uh, the, the source code's open. Who we support is open. So, for example, with our management products, we support Red Hat, we support VMware, we support Amazon. It's open. Um, if other management companies want to come in and add value to our solution, the APIs are open so that they can add, add value. We're, Red Hat's not going to, be, to add all the value across this solution. There's no way we could do that as a company. So that's not only the third leg of being open, but it's also the best part of being partner-centric. Our partners help us provide a big solution, the complete solution to our customers. From a hybrid perspective, the issue that it solves is really bringing together uh, the, f the footprints that are out there for, that IT has to manage today. Um, there's no way that IT can transform their whole environment overnight. And so the ability to take the existing infrastructure and migrate it to the tomorrow, the infrastructure of tomorrow is, is what hybrid solves. Hybrid also solves some applications are going to just run better um, on, a on a private cloud versus a public cloud. And, and, and they, may run, they may run better at different times of the day on the private cloud, or they may run better at different times of the day on the public cloud. So hybrid gives the, the ability to have that choice for the, for the IT department of where and when they want to run the application for what's best for the application and what's best for the company. Really the first steps, um, you have to get virtualized. And it doesn't mean you necessarily have to go to the traditional virtualization model of, you know, the traditional virtualization model is you manage by virtual machines. What, what, what cloud means, what private cloud means is you manage by service. You have virtualization underneath cloud architectures like OpenStack, but it's abstracted away. So the first thing is an IT manager is get, a, get an arch architecture that allows you to get virtualized as a company. And so that, that's really the first step is think about that architecture for virtualization. Then look at your applications and see where each application might run best. Is it tied to physical hardware? Can it be run in a traditional virtualized environment? Is it a new application? Should I code it today straight to a cloud environment? Then look at how you're going to manage that and, and ensure that you can manage it across all of those footprints in, in, a, um, in, a, in a very integrated way. The partners really complete the solution for us. Um, we can't possibly solve all aspects of, of every solution. So we feel our job is to bring the open source infrastructure to the customer base, give the customer base a, that consumable infrastructure, and use that as a base for partners to add their value to really complete the solution for the end user customer.